This two-minute tutorial provides a glimpse into the many ways item and bibliographic record sets can be created and used in Polaris. In the first two-minute tutorial about record sets, we discussed different ways to create record sets. The second tutorial focused on bulk changes to item record sets. There are additional ways to create record sets. You can create them with your import profiles, you can convert an item record set to a bibliographic record set and vice versa, and you can create them in Simply Reports. When you set up an import profile, you can add record sets to show you the work that was done with the record load. Use the Record Sets tab of the Import Profile record to set them up. If you are loading records but not creating items, you should fill out the three bibliographic record sets, Final, Provisional, and Deleted. The final record set will show you the titles that were loaded with no problems. The provisional record set will show records that had multiple bibliographic records, and therefore the system did not know what to overlay. You will need to check these and resolve the issue. The deleted record set shows you the records that got overlaid. You may want to check this record set to see if anything was overlaid that shouldn't have been. The owners of these record sets should be your library. If you have more than one cataloger, it is recommended that you include the cataloger initials in the record set name. You can convert an item record set into a bibliographic record set. You may want to do this to assign work by collection. For example, if there is a change that needs to be made to a note in a bibliographic record for your easy readers, start by making an item record set for the easy readers. Then convert the record set to a bibliographic record set. In this example, I've created an item record set of adult graphic novels from Highland Park. Then I click on the icon that has a blue B by it. This is the icon for Create Bibliographic Record Set. It will then ask you to name your new record set and give it an appropriate owner. If you are working with a lot of records, you may get a warning message about how many records will be in your new set. The result is a smaller number of bibliographic records that may need to have some work done on them. You can also convert a bibliographic record set into an item record set. When you do this, you will get the item records from all of the CCS libraries that have items attached to those bib records. You can sort them and remove them from your record set. You can also create a record set by using Simply Reports. Start by doing a search for the results you are looking for. Since you are creating a record set, you only need the item barcode for your output. In this example, I'm creating a record set of Lake Villa District Library magazines. After you click on Submit, a new tab will open. Name the record set and click on Save Record Set. You will now be able to work with the record set in the client. You can print out an item record set in a list format so the items can be pulled for review, a display, or cataloging corrections. Print Record Set prints out a list that can be used for pulling items off of shelves. Print Record Set also provides you with a PDF version of your list. This is an example of how the Print Item Record Set printout looks. You can print labels from a record set. Click to the side of the printer icon in the middle of the screen, then choose Label. You can also export data from a record set to a spreadsheet using Simply Reports. In this case, you need to select the fields you want to be in your spreadsheet. You can also select the sort order. Make sure Excel file is checked, then select the item record set you want to print. When you get your results, you should see a choice to download report output. Put a check mark in the box next to it. A download button will appear. Click on that to download the spreadsheet. You can then resort it and format it the way you want it to look. When you are done working with a record set, it is best to delete it. They can accumulate quickly. Be careful about whether you are deleting the record set, deleting an item from a record set, or deleting the item from Polaris entirely. This has been a tutorial on record sets. If you have any questions, contact help at ccslib.org.